live, if you're watching live, and then you can watch us on tape. I put these up later, and this one will go up uh, a little later than normal, but uh, what was my stern content that I had for today? I had something that I wanted to talk about. Oh, this is a good one. On this date, uh, May 29th, 2003, we had Casey doing surveys with uh, the group. So I loved the uh, surveys that Casey was doing. I thought Casey was a big part of the show. And yes, I'm going to try to get Casey on. He's doing his own Facebook thing now. Or he's, he does a YouTube show. He does a live thing. And it's, it's quite interesting, I shall say. Um, but um, I would love to have Casey back. But Casey's surveys were, were always really good. I, did you like those? Were you interested in Casey doing the, the surveys? It, it went like this. Who is the most liked on the show? And uh, the winner of that was Artie. Who's the most least like on the show? It was Benji. So he would pull all the uh, people in the show, and then he would get their answers to these questions. And that's what happened on this date, May 29, 2003. I always thought the surveys were pretty good. And this, I think this is when um, they started doing, um, you know, who, do, who should we fire from the show? I think Stern said, let's just fire someone today. Let's have some fun with it. And he didn't actually fire anybody. Um, he said if, uh, if they lost the vote, and that was when Artie got one vote to be fired, and it was from Richie Wilson. And he said, he's never made me laugh once. I always try to get that impression in here. So if you're in here, say hello and tell me what you're, what you're, where you're from and why you're here and what we're talking about today. Hello, Johan. Yeah, Alyssa, I've heard about people wanting me to, I can't, I don't know where to get her. And I don't really know much about her. I wasn't, I don't think I was listening. I know she's with Benji and I know that she just got in some trouble for beating up her boyfriend in the car. Um, but I, I, you know, I always take uh, recommendations. And like I said, if you're just joining, I, uh, I did a mass blast uh, to, of uh, emails to folks that I'm trying to get on this program. So you'll see some new interviews starting in June, which reminds me, they'll be debuting on Patreon and some of them will just live on Patreon. Some of them won't make it to YouTube. So if you wanna see some exclusive content, you have to go to Patreon, which is in my description. Thank you for asking. Also on this day, on May 29, 2003, we had uh, Artie's Diet Disgust. I think this is fun whenever we hear this. This is from MarksFriggin.com. Uh, Howard took a, guy who took, took a call from a guy who asked Artie about diabetes. Artie says he, his father had diabetes. And that led to Howard talking about the challenge uh, Artie gave up giving, drinking Coke. Uh, he was having Coke all the time. Now he's just drinking Hawaiian Punch. So Artie's Diet, uh, he went off Coke and the Coca-Cola, I'm guessing, was the drink and went to, uh, went to uh, Hawaiian Punch. Hello, Richard. Mark the Vomit Lover, a hero to all. Uh, he's disgusting, and I don't want to talk to him. I don't even want to meet him uh, virtually. Um, hello there. This is Mark the... I, what is, I, I'm still here looking for people to vomit on. Did he do... He actually did that in studio, did he not? Well, anyway, I have no interest in talking to him. I think he's disgusting. There's another person I've decided is disgusting and I won't be talking to, and it's Yaki the Tickler. I think I've talked about this before, but Yaki's got a strange, strange website, and I'm not going to have him on. And I've decided that. Um, so, but thank you for coming in, Richard. Hello, Michael. How long did Artie actually live in his beach house that he built? I felt like a three-year thing. Um, I felt like he just, did he not just sell it? Well, maybe it's more. I don't know. Maybe if uh, you can tell us, please let me know. Uh, in the comments how long Artie had the beach house. I thought, although maybe he sold his uh, his current residence, I'm not sure, but hello and welcome to people coming in, thank you. A Houston interview would be interesting. Uh, yeah, so I talked about Houston yesterday, so this, on this date, uh, was when Brad called, if you're talking about Houston, the, uh, the adult film star, this was the date that Brad made the phone call to ask if uh, Howard could set up a Houston for his prom, and it did work out. So I, I'm actually trying to get a hold of Brad. I have no idea if Houston's even alive. I guess I could look her up. Um, was she did the Houston 500. <laughs> what, what a proud parent uh, Houston's parents must be, knowing that uh, their daughter did a movie called the Houston 500, and it was nothing about racing. Um, but that's that, that's that. But yeah, we could try to get her on, or see what she's up to, see what kind of medication she's possibly on for the hepatitis. Uh, but thank you for coming in today. Again, going live because I'd like to go live twice a week and see if uh, what the people want to talk about. How about Bobo? No, it doesn't. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Bobo, uh, does he not still work with the show? I, it's mostly uh, people that work on the show or part of the show. 
uh, I don't believe would be allowed to be part of this show. Um, but we'll find out. Uh, I can check on Bobo. But I thought Bobo was... Uh, I can't believe I'm just talking about Bobo. But Bobo, I thought, is a uh, is part of the show still. Anyway, thank you for the... And again, please keep them coming as I'm um, thinking about other people that, uh, that would be interesting on the show. Have you interviewed Nancy? I've... Uh, Today, just sent an email to Nancy Siriani. Just to be, I sent her one before, but I followed up. So I'm trying to get Nancy on the program. And uh, that is one of the, how many did I send? I sent about 20 emails today out and three texts. So would love to get uh, Nancy. Guessing Scott the Engineer has an NDA. Um, so I don't know about that. He was on another podcast, which pisses me off because I have his phone number and I've, he knows that I want to talk to him and I've told other people. But uh, he's not doing anything since. But uh, he is, yes, he is the get of gets for me. I would love to have Scott the Engineer as part of the show. Uh, hello, Jasper County Mayor. Hi, you say. Uh, hello, Ross's do dog's broken spirit. Do I miss Terry Pendleton? Now, this this is the kind of stuff. See, we go right from Houston, the Houston 500, to Scott, and, uh, the engineer, and Terry Pendleton. I do. And Terry Pendleton, if you remember, I'm sure you do, Ross, always grabbed his crotch. Like, it, it must have had, like, a giant whatever going on down there in Anaconda. He always had to, every pitch, had to grab his crotch. Pants were too tight. I always found it strange as a child. I was like, Daddy, what's, what is going on in Terry's pants? And he's like, Dad, sh shut up, Brad. Shut up. Uh, let's see. Thank you for asking, though, Ross. I do miss Terry Pendleton, and I will be uploading an interview with him that I did uh, on this channel, Ross, because of you. You've asked for some Cardinal content and baseball content, so Terry Pendleton's interview will be coming to you live on this channel soon. Thank you for asking. Uh, Richard, uh, Beth would be a great guest. You could pair in apples. I don't get that. I don't think Beth would be part of the show, unless we talk cats. I'll talk cats with Beth. I don't know. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for saying hello. Jasper Chimeria, uh, the troll group that was here last week. If you block me, I'll send more trolls. Okay, welcome in. Thank you, Jasper. Uh, would you ever interview Daniel Carver? Yeah, not really sure I'm interested in Daniel Carver. Um, but maybe. Thank you, uh, Ross. Noise. Uh, so we got lots of folks coming in with their comments and questions. Thank you for joining. If you're, uh, you're here for the first time, this is what we do. We talk about the Stern Show. We talk about baseball. And uh, we talk about this channel. People like to know who we've talked to and uh, all the people that have been on the show. And so that's what we do here. I appreciate you coming by. What's the topic, Sarah? Anything you want to talk about. We talk about uh, things that happened on the show on, on this date. We talk about is Howard coming back? Um... I saw, let's see, I saw, what did I have here that I wanted to, I saw, do, 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 do. hold please, I had a, a Reddit post that I was going to go through, and now I don't think I have it anymore, uh, original Bigfoot better than Vermont Bigfoot, Bob Levy, High Pitch Eric, William Hung, and Perry Caravello, yeah, I know Perry is going to be possibly part of the show at some point, uh, Bob Levy has been on this program. High Pitch Eric blocked me, so I cannot, uh, I'm not interested uh, in having him on after he blocked me. I would love to still talk to him. William Hung, uh, I did, I tried to request him, so I uh, don't think I uh, got a chance to talk to him. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's see here. I can't find my, I can't find my Reddit post that I was going to read about. So, what else was I going to ask you guys about? I had some, I had a poll question that I was going to bring up. What's your favorite movie, baseball movie? Is it Bull Durham or is it Major League? You know, there's a lot of people that uh, go back and forth on this. They want to know, uh, I don't think Bill Durham's even that great. I got to be honest. Major League is hilarious, and it gives you, it talks about Major League, so let me know in the chat what you think. Do you like Major League, or do you like Bull Durham? And the other thing, very important poll here, what do you, what do you call a beverage that you're drinking in the summer? Do you call it, do you call it soda? Do you call it pop? Do you call it Coke, or do you call it a soft drink? Uh, so, I call it soda, myself, but I know people in Ohio call it pop. 
Jasper, it was cool how MLB created the Field of Dreams a few years ago. I agree with that. I wish they would do that again. I don't know why that was not uh, something they continued to do. I know they're touring around a little bit doing other uh, stuff, but that was a, uh, yeah, I mean, that was a cool, definitely a cool uh, event, and uh, they should do it again. Hold on, I'm texting my wife. Just trying to get paid. She doesn't like this YouTube thing that I do. Uh, Joey, hello. I have a dent on my head. Yeah, I do. I have no idea where I got it. Where's that? Is it on this side or this side? I still don't even know. Uh, and I don't know if that was from a beer thing. But yeah, it's been pointed out. Soda, if you want to speak English. Soda pop, says Joey Joe. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it wasn't a sort of where you're from. Like, that's... That's kind of the point of it. Um, that's soda pop. Uh, it's terrible for baseball that Acuna, Acuna is out. Yeah. And then uh, Edwin Diaz went out today. So uh, on the DL, I think the Mets. I love watching the Mets broadcast, but poor Mets fans. Edwin Diaz just came back and was no good. Um, hold on. Gotta text the wife again. She again. She likes being part of the show. <laughs> anyway, uh, Michael, K I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Soda, if you want to speak English, speak in English. Moanda in my country. I don't know what that means either. So just trying to uh, keep up. Mets closer. Man, what a meltdown! No nightmare he was. Oh, yeah, this is where you come in and start, <laughs> start talking about all the people that are in the uh, St. Louis media. Yeah, I enjoy them. But, yeah, no, today the Mets closer, Edwin Diaz, went down with a shoulder impingement. He has not been good. They started pitching him in the seventh inning, and he was no good. Uh, and they are, that's true, Ross, uh, half a million dollar payroll, and they are in, what are they in last place? I'll have to take a look at this. No, Miami's in last place. Well, they're only four games in front of the with Marlins, the mighty Marlins of Miami. But yeah, I'm okay. But I love the Mets. I enjoy watching their broadcasts, and it's much more fun when they're better. But, uh, hey, to each his own, right? What, I had another. Did we, did, we get a, did we get a consensus of major leagues better than Bull Durham? I thought we did. Uh, I want to read what else? Oh, today's birthday, Bob Hope. Bob Hope's birthday. Was he? Well, he's no longer alive, right? He was born in 1903. Anyway, it was his birthday, but that brought me to this topic. I never liked when Howard did the impression of Bob Hope. Never made me, never made me laugh once. I never found it funny. Um, I'll take your calls. We're going to try to set up a uh, stream yard. I've never done stream yard, but uh, so the next time we do this, I might be testing that out. I don't know if you guys have ever been part of a stream yard, but uh, make sure you uh, come here live and check it out. And... Um, We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know how to get a hold of Elegant Elliot often. Um, but if anyone does, please uh, tell me here in the chat, and I would totally try to get him. And then uh, who would I look it up today? I was looking at Bigfoot. I was trying to get a hold of Bigfoot. I know he had an arson thing happen, but I'm not sure if he's in jail still. Maybe you guys know. Uh, Ross, how are you doing? I loved Howie's Bob Hope impression. How dare you? I got to tell you, boy. Yeah, I, I wasn't a fan. Just went on and on. Uh, oh, Miss. Okay, maybe Mrs. Elegant Elliot. Often it was. I thought. I thought Elliot was sort of both too. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But happy birthday to Bob Hope. You know, in this day in sports, the Edmonton Oilers won their fourth Stanley Cup. Well, actually, they won the Stanley Cup for the uh, second straight year in a row. Uh, in 1985. Barry Bonds made his major league debut on this date in 1986, and Mike Tyson beat Michael Pinklin by TKO in round six. Did Mike Tyson, now I heard, is he going to be able to make the Jake Paul fight? I heard that he had a medical issue, but I didn't read any more than that. So I'm not sure what's going on with Mike Tyson. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. you think Jake Paul and like Mike Tyson will happen? And do you think it'll be legit? Uh, we've talked about this here before. I don't. Um, but may, I mean, maybe it will be. Are you going to watch that? Are you going to... I mean, if you had net, if you didn't have Netflix, would you pay just to get that fight? What would you pay for? Like, would you when you saw that Tom Brady was doing the roast, um, would you pay for that? 
We'll take your calls. Hello. What's your favorite movie? Hello, Jasper. Uh, Ghostbusters. Oh, 1984, greatest year ever. Ghostbusters is the greatest movie ever. I, I walk around kind of quoting Bill Murray from that, that scene with Dana, Dana Barrett, um, Scorny Weaver. Vince the Lawyer did a funny live stream with Stuttering John Road Trip. Didn't see that. Is Howard's parents alive? Hi there, KDST. Welcome in. Uh, his father passed last summer, and uh, Mom is Ray Stern still kicking. He still does the impression, which leads me to my next thing. I can't stand when he does the mom impression anymore. Um, so I'm not clearly I'm not listening like I used to, but for this channel, I kind of pop in to see what they're doing, and he'll do like an hour and a half of that mom voice, and uh, does never made me laugh once. Never. The the Ben Stern thing almost for a second, you know the. Shut up, sit down, that's so. But uh, yeah, the, the Ray Stern, your mother, your mother needs help. I don't like it. I just did it though. I think I did that pretty good. I've never tried to do the Ray Stern uh, impression. I think I just did it though. Uh, do I watch the Levy verse? No, I have not. Uh, or the Dabble verse is what I've heard it's called. I don't go into that. Um, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of the side stuff. It was mostly the Stern show in 2009. What year should Howard have retired in order to have gone out of legend? The correct answer is 2010, says Ross. Yeah, I agree. I think um, I think if, well, you have to have sort of the Artie, what happened after Artie, and then, then be a legend. He did a lot of decent interviews uh, from 2010 to about 2017, maybe. Um, but it was the, it was, I don't, was it COVID? Right then, the show had changed... Um, to these interviews where it's just all about as you know the, the daddy issues and stuff but uh thanks for coming in again welcome in if you're watching live if you're watching on tape thank you for watching uh this is what we do here you can see the comments scrolling in and uh thank folks for coming in check out the description for all of the uh, items that go on in the description including memberships and super chats and all that good stuff ross is a member he's been a, a, a fine upstanding individual who supports this channel so i appreciate that and um, you can also join me on Patreon, where I'll be putting up exclusive content from the show. Do you remember the altercation between Bob Levy and Dana, Danny Bonaducci? I don't remember that. Um, I mean, it sounds familiar, but I don't. AGT killed the show. That's interesting. So I, there's lots of moments and watershed moments, but that's when he really decided that he wanted to be mainstream. I think that was after... Uh, the summit in 2013 so the summit happens and he decides i don't know who got i know marcy got to him but uh he started wanting to be more mainstream are you watching casey armstrong's live streams he might have an in-depth interview with Susanner, stuttering john's ex so i do flip on that uh from time to time because I'm, I'm i enjoy casey i don't stay there long um i thought him and stuttering john were okay but i'm guessing not so that that'll be interesting i'll i'll check that out i guess did Dan the Song Parody Man ever pay Artie back? Did you try to get Dan on the show? I will mention that I did email Dan today. Dan was, I have not talked to Dan in probably three years. Uh, we were close to having him part of this program. I don't know why I say we, because it's, well, we, we, we're a community, and that's who I do this for, is you guys. And then Dan's, uh, Dan had some uh, family medical issues where he had to fly to Florida, and then I think he went back and started doing stuff with the show. So uh, I did re reach out today. Uh, if you're just joining, I, I mentioned at the very top here, I sent, I did a kind of an email blast where I looked at uh, 20 to 25 people that I haven't talked to in a while and sent them emails. So we'll see if any of them stick. Let's hope. We'll get some new content. But I continue to give you some of that repurposed stuff in case you haven't seen it. Um, so thank you very much. Levy slapped Bonaducci. Bonaducci did not retaliate. I kind of remember that. Um, but, but by the way, did song the... Uh, Dan the Song Parody Man ever pay Artie back? I don't believe he did. I don't think that ever happened. But uh, welcome in. Again, we're talking Stern. We're talking baseball. We just, we're all over the place. Cardinals won today. Uh, I was very excited to get on here right after the big Cardinal win. Uh, the Mets are playing the Dodgers so we can watch together. Let's see what the score is that. one nothing Dodgers tie, bottom of the second. And uh, it's a good day. Al C., hello. When I watch his 2010 to 2013, he seems to be slowly shifting to political correctness, but he also seemed like he was more angry at, uh, at times, uh, and some of those times are hilarious to watch him pissed off. 
Yeah, I mean, that was probably when the heavy therapy was happening um, because he totally came out of therapy or some somewhere where he started uh, apologizing to folks like Kathy Lee Gifford. And I mean, Rosie was on, I guess, even with Artie, but um, some of the people that he would just torment. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, that was when it was great. And then he became friends with those people and brought them in and it wasn't as fun. Uh, nobody ever pays Artie back, says Johan. Goldschmidt and Arenado ain't worth the money. It's interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's... That's an interesting take, because they've been here a while, so I, I got to think about what they've done while they've been here, not what they're doing in the current. But, of course, now they're hitting a little bit. Uh, but I haven't won a lot with those guys, so we'll have to see. I still I still don't think this team is that good, to be honest. I think they're, they're, feeding, I think they're feeding off a bad... Uh, NL Central, well, bad National League, bad baseball. Everyone's like 500 right now. Bob Levy was terrible during those Howard Stern roasts. I thought Bob was okay on the roast. I think it's funny, though. I heard Norm McDonald. I was listening to his old interview, and he was talking to Mark Marin. He just talked about how roasts are just so dumb, and it, they're so easy. So wasn't Riley Martin a roast meister? I don't know if he's a roast meister. Um... By the way, who sent me... Oh, I saw in the comments today, someone in my comments talked about Howard being colorblind and that that's not well known out there. And uh, said it kind of put things in a different light. I don't know if that was a joke or whatever, but I never knew that. Um, anyway, have you had Lisa Lampanelli on the show? I tr Lisa Lampanelli was this close to being on the show. She was coming through St. Louis. She was doing her stand-up. This was right before she had her meltdown. And then she canceled her appearance. Uh, I, I don't know if that's, it was right around the time that she had a meltdown. Have you ever, by the way, have you ever seen the Lisa Lampanelli meltdown on YouTube? It's, uh, it's wonderful. You should check it out today if you've never seen it. Uh, her screaming at, at people in the audience. It looks like she's in a high school gym or something. Um, so, but no, have not had Lisa Lampanelli on the show. Howard Stern would torment Kathy Lee Gifford's child, Cody. <laughs> I do remember that. That is true, too. Like, Cody should be, like, back. Why are we talking to him, Mom? I don't know. Why is this show so bad, totally opposite from the 90s and 2010s, do you think? It's sad, CJ. Yeah, man. Well, the host is 70. And if you remember when Imus uh, started to decline, if he ever had an incline, and those last couple years, he was just grunting into the microphone. I can't even say what he was saying. Um, and he got in a lot of trouble. I think Howard's trying not to get in any trouble as he leaves. Meltdown, you say? Yeah. Uh, you should check it out if you've never seen it, Ross. Uh, yeah, if you've not seen I think it's just Lisa Lampanelli meltdown. Take a look. Maybe I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put it even in the link here. It is a... It's about six minutes of her just screaming at some hecklers. It's good stuff. Uh, where were you when I first saw the movie Private Parts? I must... Did I go see that? I had to, I saw it in the theater, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the theater. Uh, I was in college. And I thought it was a great movie. And we had to... Well, that was actually... I think I did... I think I did a, a paper on it. I think there was a class I was in, Ethics and Media or something, where I had to... We, we talked about the movie and we had to watch... We had to watch kind of the, the nude scenes with an old lady professor teacher. And I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing to this guy? It's nine in the morning here. Um, if Howard did his current show in the 90s, he would have a 0, 0.0 rating. Think so? How much you would you how much would you pay to have Artie? Uh I, I don't know if I'm paying anybody, but I would love to have Artie on this on this show. And I'd love to have him on the uh, Stern Show. I wonder what that would be like. I don't think it'd be any good. I think they're both going to be way too old at this point. Best E show was the Jesus Twins. I highly recommend you watch that. Yeah, I have uh, definitely watched all the... Je you know, what's funny is I always remember just the first appearance of the Jesus Twins. But what they came on like four times. And I'll tell you who I really want to talk to. I mean, I'm... I'll be honest here, I've, I reached out again. I have been in contact with the surviving Jesus twin, and uh, we've been having conversations. I, I would love to talk to him. He's, quote, not ready to talk. Um, if you guys know what happened to his brother, it was uh, suicide by cop, I believe. But the manager, Jonathan Mendelssohn, or whatever, evidently he's a nut, 
um, clearly if you watch. But I want to know what was going on. Like, how did those guys find him? Was he acting or was that, what was, I mean, that was just, it was great television. You won't see anything like that. They won't have anybody like that on the show now. That was like 1997. Um, who are you, Kurt Loda? Who's your favorite whack packer? Yeah, this comes up all the time. I, I get Sour Shoes as my answer. I believe Sour Shoes is considered a whack packer, right? And again, he's called me, and I, I will be calling him uh, again and trying to get him back. Uh, we never did a show together, but we exchanged uh, tons of voicemails. And uh, it was wonderful. And you can see that on this channel. Uh, and I'll post it again here soon. But it was... Um, he did them in voices, so one time he called back as Artie, one time he called as Baba Booey. Uh, who else did he do? He had, we did voices of everybody, and it was great. Uh, should the cards get rid of more mole? No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think he's the problem, and I don't even know if he is a problem, to be honest. If, if you can turn this around with uh, Andre Palante being your fifth starter, like you don't even have a fifth starter. How did they not have anybody from Memphis? So I, I don't blame more mole, but thank you. Uh, the one brother point, okay, yeah, okay. That's what happened with the Jesus twin, yeah. Uh, suicide by cop. Nate Lewis, hello, thank you for joining. I've never seen you in here. Hello, J John Mokerson's always here. Compromisable, yes. It's compromisable, Howard, compromisable. Uh, you know, this is a point where I wish I could remember some of the things Jonathan Mendelssohn had said. But yes, I love Sour Shoes as well. Um, we do consider him a whack packer, right? Is that, I mean, I assume, or is he different than like a Eric the Actor and Hank the Angry Dwarf? What's your top three favorite foods? I, man, you know, this is a great question. Chicken Parmesan, uh, sausage pizza, uh, and like a chocolate Heath Bar concrete, like a nice dessert. Thanks for asking. What's yours? Uh, thank you for coming in live, by the way. So we've, uh, We've broken the barrier. We got a bunch of people in here now. We're having a good time. Thank you for all joining and, and just mentioning, as always, check out the description if you're watching live or if you're watching on tape. You can see all the things that go on here. We do memberships. Uh, we take in super chats and super thanks. And I'm also adding Patreon as, as a, another option as we'll put some exclusive content over there. Um, I can't even listen to Howard now. I still listen to the old stuff. Yeah, I mean, I still have... Um, I wonder. I should just see how many hours of it is. But from about nine, well, let's say 2002 to 2009, I have every, I think I have every show. And then there's some good websites out there now too that have that as well. And I'm not going to share that because it's, I, I don't want them to go away. I like having that out there. When's the last time uh, you drove through East St. Louis? Uh, it's been a while. I remember my car broke down in East St. Louis. I was uh, an usher at the Keel Center, and uh, some buddies of mine lived over in Belleville, so we'd go hang out over there. That's the east side. But I went through East St. Louis for some reason, and my car literally broke down. Couldn't I couldn't brake, but I said, I gotta get out of East St. Louis, so I at least rolled into Milstadt and then uh, got some work on the car done. Thanks for asking. Do you listen to O&A? Opie streams daily and has roughly your same numbers. No, I've never listened to Opie and Anthony. Um, I was very loyal to Howard and did not find, um, well, I just didn't feel like I needed to listen to them. I, it sounded like they were doing a ripoff show. I watched the dark side of the 2000s and saw their uh, act there. And now I know I was right not to want to watch uh, the, the uh, oh, Opie and Anthony. The last show Brent worked on was Hollywood Square shows. That was probably the day Shuley was terminated, along with Brent Hatley. I don't think they left at the same time. I think Brent left in uh, 2019, and I know Shuley left in 2020. Shuley left right before COVID, or as COVID was happening, because he wanted to go to Alabama. And this is all detailed on an interview I did with him, which you can see on this channel, so go take a look at that. But I, I don't think that, that they were both at the same time. Who is number two behind Howard? I mean, if you're talking about radio guys, jeez. I mean, I think Joe Rogan is now number one, right? Then who's number two? It depends on your, what you like now. So I don't know, man cow? Opie banned you. Probably a comment about Anthony and Joe Rogan being friends. I, I'll mention that I did reach out to Opie to be on this show. Uh, I've reached out to Anthony to be on the show, even though I don't really know them or listen to them. 
And then I realized Anthony kind of has some strange, he gets a little over the top, gets over his skis a little bit with his, com his comments. Um, so no, I have not had Opie and the Anthony on the show. And I don't listen to them. That's funny, he, you got banned. Sorry about that. Uh, the Eric, the actor ones are still funny to this date. That's true. I don't know who Gavin McGinnis is. Um, anyway, let's see what else is going on. I hate Chris Wilding and Mamet. Or, well, Artie would not work. That uh, would not work. Um, I don't. I don't understand how that is the group of people now that is on the show, and um, that Howard relies on to be funny. Like I just, all of them. Um, Perlman, uh, Blit, Nowicki. I don't even know what these guys do. Uh, they, they're not funny. So, I'm gonna ask that. Uh, I wanted to look at this. On this date. I think I'm out of on this date stuff. I did all my polling things. Talked about the movies. It's Carmelo Anthony's birthday today. Uh, Artie would, uh, Teddy P <laughs> Yes, he would, Ross. Yes, he would. So let's take a look back here at the Mets. The Mets now still down one nothing in the bottom of the third. Uh, let's just take a look here at the scores. If you're watching, Kyle Schwarber hit a home run. We'll lead off the game for the, the Phillies. The Cardinals take on the Phillies is coming up. That's going to be fun. Uh, have you ever listened to Richard Christie's band Death? I have not. Um, Richard's talented, though. It's funny that he sort of decided to skip his talents and um, go on the show, but I guess it maybe it pays a little better. Anthony Kumi is doing free shows on YouTube now. He is to be a PC or they'll ban his channel. I could see that. Uh, just looking at my notes here to see if there's anything I've missed. Mm -hmm. I haven't missed much. Corey Seager hit his eighth home run in eight days today. Death kicks ass. Okay, I'll give him a listen. I like, uh, I can listen to anything. Um, well, we came on early today, so uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed today's uh, program. We went we went a good 40 minutes. I've run out of things that I'd like to say. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we uh, we get out of here? Richard Christie did a horror film with Ron Jeremy. Is that true? Sounds disgusting. But I'll take a look. Uh, so again, if you watch live, thank you. We do this uh, Mondays. We're going to do it Mondays and Wednesdays. Around 4 Central, 5 Eastern. And then I'll post them uh, so you can watch them later if uh, with the commentary. I'm not sure how that goes. Someone offered you Corey Seager for Acuna in fantasy baseball a month ago. Kicking yourself. Hey, you can't, can't give up Acuna. He's the best player in baseball. But Acuna's kicking himself. Uh, and by the way, Acuna's only had two really big years. That's interesting. Like, he had amazing, an amazing year last year. But uh, over, what, the six, seven years, he's really only had two really... Same with, like, Tatis. Machado's not any good this year. Um, I don't know. Last time I've been at Pops, I believe it was for Brian Setzer and the Stray Cats. It was probably about 10 years ago. My brother's band actually opened for them, uh, the Trip Daddies back then. It's now the Blue Sparks, in case you're uh, checking out uh, blues music. But that's the last time I was at Pops. Uh, last time I was there for not that, uh, I don't know. It was a long time ago. But thank you for asking. Uh, so again, sent out a lot of emails today to see if we could get some folks on the show. You should interview Corey Feldman. I have uh, asked for Corey Feldman. I don't know if I'm asking the right person because I've heard nothing back. Corey Feldman is coming to St. Louis. He's he's going to be part of a, 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 one of the bands opening for Limp Biscuit. So we're going to see that and laugh our asses off. When do you think the last time Howard Ar uh, mentioned Artie was? Um, I don't think think he's mentioned I mean probably 2010 eh? El Monstero I have never seen them I'm not a Pink Floyd fan uh, I know some of the folks in the band so I'd like to see them but I've never seen El Monstero it's a band here that uh, sells out 20,000 seat arenas in St. Louis and they just do Pink Floyd stuff so I guess I have to see him at some point we ever interviewed uh, Screech from Saved by the Bell you know I have not but I met him I uh, had a good time with him, actually. He came to St. Louis and was doing stand-up. And I will be candid. He was funny. 
He fucking made me laugh. I was shocked. It was across the river at Hey Now. You guys ever, hey, hey guys, something like that. It was in a strip mall next to a Little Caesars and a Home Depot. Screech was funny. It made me laugh. I'm sad he uh, had a, 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 such a terrible life. Um, so we're just hanging out here. Just uh, I'm going to try to get to the, t we're gonna go to the top of the hour. Had a good time with everybody. I appreciate you coming in. And uh, don't mind at all when people come in and have lots of questions and comments. Uh, studio, no. No Union Station. Just out in the burbs. We're out, in, out, out here in the burbs. Uh, Big Black is a regular on Vince the Lawyer. Is that a real show? Is Big Black, he's different than Angry Black, right? Oh, Big Black is way different. Maybe I'll get Big Black on here. That can't be the same guy, right? Sour, can you hear me? I want you to go to jail for this. I'm trying to get Steve Lankford back on the show. He's been on before, um, so I sent him a note. We'll see what happens. Uh, try, I love the, more of the news team. They had, they had an interesting role on the show, from what I remember. But that's going to do it for today. I appreciate it. Make sure you go to the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Get the notification bells turned on so you can see when I'm going to do these. I usually give like an advance notice that I schedule them out. And then I put a post up and let you know that I'll be doing this. So uh, you can't miss it. I appreciate everybody coming here. I got a Perry Cavrello. I got to try that. Howard Stern stream guest is Taylor Swift. <laughs> that is true, right? Well, that'll be the day that you know that the, the universe is just tilted. That Howard gets all excited about Taylor Swift. Um, and it'll be a terrible terrible interview but that's coming right i mean that that's who he he's want instead of chevy chase and bill murray now he's trying to get taylor swift and post malone thank you jasper you kick ass i appreciate you coming on uh thank you everybody for coming on and enjoying joining me today probably won't go live for a little bit but uh, come back monday i can guarantee probably be here monday we'll all have a good time thank you for coming by we'll see you next time bye for now